loves the night and all it brings She dances among the shiny things She's lost in the land of make-believe Night after night she never sleeps All good as a love that waits for her EGB, your eSports betting world. The only place to find the widest choice of popular games and matches to win real money. Choose your bet on a single event or express of several matches with dizzy odds. Serving the market for seven years with over 800,000 users. Join now to get your bonus for the first deposit up to $600. EGB, you know for sure who's gonna win. Hello guys and welcome to the EGB Arena of Blood. We have a game in front of us. It's a best of three. It's Dota. And it's between Team Singularity and Chicken Fighters. You're here watching the one and only Arena of Blood. Hope you enjoy the stream as always. My name is T-Shortfish. Here joined by Seagull Strike Dota. Yeah, and actually I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this uh, Singularity draft. They're, uh, I'm sorry, Singularity roster. They're slightly different than the last time I had the opportunity to cast them or, or really look at any of their games. I see they still have Hester Joe Rotten's Attracts, I think, has t been a mainstay. I've seen Excalibur, I think, on different... It's been, nah, it's, this, this, this has been the team for a while. Are you sure? That's, so the only change they did recently is that they, they had a... I forgot what the other... Wasn't team. Aloha Dance on this roster briefly? No, no. Not, not at least recently. Hmm. Like, with the past months we're talking about. Singularity had this exact roster, except Suzuya was in the a different support, and I forgot what it was. And the other support was position four, and DNZ was five. And now DNZ is four, so Zoe is five. Huh, I could have. Okay. No, 100%. I can guarantee you. Cause that, this is how they were for the European qualifiers for LA. Oh, yeah, because. Did you do a CIA? Yeah. No, you did a U, didn't you? I did a U. The singularity is a U. Oh, good point. Yes, uh, it turns out. So it's chicken fighters. The chicken fighters did not get that far. That's a that's a powerful combo. I, I like yeah, this so starter here from can Mars. You just and check first. Yume. Uh, Yume was their opposition Saber Light was who I was thinking of. Yeah, That's but Saber right. Light has left for a while ago. In fact, Saber Light is in Chicken Fighters. What? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's been there for a while. How are you this uninformed? And he's the Seneco? Yes. Uh, actually, I didn't know These that. teams have not changed that much in the past months. Hmm. They were like this for the LA Majors. <laughs> well, I didn't. I was busy in SCA. You yeah, must understand. Yeah, son, but I watch all regions regardless. All right. Anyway, I, I like this this opener. Mars Lich, uh, I think, is really ex easy to execute. Uh, wins you the lane, almost certainly. No, it doesn't even show that he's actually on the Chicken Fighters. Interesting. Yeah, it still says he's on Singularity. That's what I was confused Well, because he's still owned by the Org, if I'm mistaken. But yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, right, that's why, because they're not actually supposed to be. Uh, that's why. That's why Nick P doesn't have him on the team. Well, uh, in either way. Oh, my God, there's so much Dota live right now. Stop being impressed by this. Can you uh, I mean, I'm impressed by this draft as well. Ember Spirit, Rubik. I like the Rubik here. Uh, Lich has a good tool set to steal from. I think my favorite spell to steal from Lich is, is the shield. No, it's the bedroom eyes. Oh, sinister gaze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, the cast point's already really good on Lich, so it's it's not like it Rubik improves him too much. I no, think but the, the, shield the spell is, is still really good. good. It's because you have cast range. Talents. It is a good spell, but I just thought find that the shield is so so good on Rubik, especially because you amplify the damage as well. I mean, chain frost always greatest style, of course, right? That's yeah, what you saying. can. Yeah, exactly. It's um, a hard spell to steal. I would like to see not a legion commander. Hmm. We haven't seen... Uh, does CIS... I guess it's EU now. Do they not play Legion? These are both EU teams. 
That's what I said. I guess this is EU now. Yeah, they don't play as much as SCA. Legion is a very uh, Legion and Omni are very favorite picks in SCA because SCA is seeing a lot of the dispel meta, mm -hmm. being very powerful. Uh, elsewhere, like S I would say, EU, CIS, and South America are very big Mars fans nowadays. I mean, mm. most regions are. It's a pretty strong hero. It's less seen in China and SCA, which is surprising, but in general, it's a very strong hero. And then, um, other well, out of the other offlaners, uh, Omni has not seen so much preference here. Legion is okay. I think we do see Legion a fair amount. Beastmaster is also very big because a lot of here, a lot of players here play Beastmaster in the offlane, and we do see a fair amount of darks here. Wow, a Meepo ban. Also, it was well, yeah, because Excalibur. It was uh, yeah. Ember Spirit first pick overall in the draft. Not surprising to be honest. Ember Spirit is highly valued. The fact that he has a the fact that he's a carry position and mid position easily with both, he combos nicely with a couple other heroes that are in those core positions. Like, for example, uh, Ember Razor if you want to play fast, Ember Troll if you want to also play fast, uh, Ember Magnus if you want to play with the, with the with the Empower. There's a bunch of combinations that work nicely with Ember, so it's good. Another Grimstroke pick. And we've seen this hero a bit with the Ember. It is definitely a chicken fighter special because they do they do love this hero on on Soneko. Um, Depends, actually, because Milan and Soneko sometimes change positions, but I'm assuming it's going to be Soneko, Grimstroke, Milan on Rubik. It's a pretty powerful combo. Grimstroke, Rubik, very, very often overlooked because Fade Bolt already is really good with that ultimate, and whatever spell you steal is even better. You can steal the Chain Frost in this case, and you're even denying Singularity the potential double, you know, double Chain Frost. Yeah, that double Chain Frost is pretty ridiculous. It's especially good against Ember, because when he's Soulbind, he cannot blink, or exactly. sorry, he cannot yes. remnant away, so it, uh, it's a pretty good pickup. It also does a pretty good job. Let's see, is the PL ban? No, he's not, so it's a pseudo counter as well. Pretty but so is the Ember, so you're not too concerned about the PL. Uh, exactly, I mean, you just want to dissuade it even more, right? Why not, sure. if you get the chance? Sure. The, the the troll pick is still in the pool, though, for Singularity. I mean, I want to pick it up before it gets snagged as the fourth pick for Chicken Fighters. I think about Chicken Fighters is because you picked the flex pick with both mid and carry, you will have a considerable advantage in the draft. Ooh, Dark uh, Willow. That's, that is that's usually a combo we see banned, too. That is a DNC special as well. The Abaddon for Chicken Fighters, so they still do value the dispel. We do see more Abaddon in Tier 2 EU than anywhere else. Uh, abysmal win rate when it comes to qualifiers, but we do see him. Teams don't get the memo. Hmm. Again, I like the hero, uh, but I, I'm going to go on my, my speech as I do every time. I think it just sets you up on the wrong foot. I think right now in Dota you want to be aggressive, and he, he puts you on the back foot. He puts yeah. you on a very strong back foot, a very sturdy back foot. I'm not going to deny that, but uh, nevertheless, you're still on the back foot here. You know, you got an ember. I mean, how often do you think you're going to be able to get the shield on ember? No, it just seems like I think uh, the Abaddon is it's the same thing that happened with Pango a while back when he was never played, right? When Sato was very popular. Yeah, two heroes that do the same thing, Pango and Centaur, back then. Mm. They did the same thing. Uh, good team fight ultimate, pushing lanes quickly. Okay, why would you ever pick Pango over Centaur? No reason, actually. There was no other reason. In this case, SCA figured it out. Why would you ever pick a Baton over Legion? No reason. Legion is better in every way and brings the spell to the table that you want from a Baton. Yeah. The two dispels, not so great. Yeah. And the chances that your Legion will actually get singled out as the initiator are so low because heroes are much tankier nowadays, right? Which is why heroes like Ricky are bursted so quickly. So... Yeah, it's not it's not a great hero. There's a, a better hero here, but uh, some EU will catch on eventually. It's just S SCA already figured it out. Uh, top tier EU has already figured it out. Uh, NA will never figure it out. And yeah, China China has already figured it out too. We see this hero less and less. It's not that bad though. It's it can work in some lineups, but there's a lot of counters to it. And the OD, who's particularly strong right now, heavily counters a baton. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. That's actually a good point. He's also terrible to pair with troll. Because uh, Troll being a really popular hero, you think, oh, but it gives you attack speed, right? It's great. Yeah, but they go both have a lot of tower pushing, so it seems redundant to have both heroes. And on top of that, you are opening up for any of these kind of, uh, what is it, banishing spells, like Disruption or Astral Imprisonment, which are so strong against both heroes. They both do the same thing. So, yeah, not a big fan of this. What do you, I mean, what's the safe lane carry here, then, for Chicken Fighter? Uh, something to, to deal with the OD? Uh, cause I feel like for the PL here for chicken fighters. Oh yeah, you know what? It's not banned. But actually, I would rather see the Ember being the carry, and then pick up a mid laner that can deal with the OD, because Ember against OD is gonna have a really tough time. It's a very difficult lane. So you can pick up. Actually, you have the TA available. Oh, not, not anymore. <laughs> Team I, Singularity. I actually, I was thinking that was the Razor ban was for as well. Yeah, you have. I think that's what they were planning. Uh, Singularity wants to carry them right now. They could pick up now that. Yeah, they could be gonna troll themselves actually. Uh, they have a pretty decent troll lineup.
with a Lich and Troll is a pretty good lane. Uh, Mars Dark Willow gives you enough team fight. You can just kind of play around that. Oh my god, it's Mars Dark Willow, Lich ulti. Yeah. That's the dream right there. Ooh, I like the morph. morph. It's a bit greedy. It's a bit greedy, but with a Dark Willow Mars lane, you can uh, you can allow it. Lich yeah. is also a very strong laner, so it makes up for Morph's weakness. The TA is now the best pick. Unfortunately, the TA has been banned. So you want a, a pick that either beats the OD or is such a good carry against Morphling that, you know, it doesn't matter. What do you think about Alina? Alina. Alina's actually pretty decent. Alina's yeah. pretty decent. Has burst damage. Can kind of stay away from the OD or at least yeah. get him to take a lot of creep damage if he wants to uh, get it in the Astral. I think it makes a lot of sense here. I'm a particular big fan of the Zeus. I think he does a very similar role to the Alina. Ooh. Oh, okay, that is, that is a Chicken Fighter special. Supreme, do Supreme loves the Arc Warden. Okay, uh, Arc Warden has a questionable, if not to say bad, matchup against Morphling because Morphling has enough movement and a shotgun, which destroys you, right? The frequent, frequent Manta Builder, so he's not going to care about the Flux either. Oh uh, yeah, but Flux is not important uh, about Arc Warden, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I, you're right, like you're not wrong, but it's not so important. The big thing about Arc Warden is to get into the mid game, which is when the carry matchup happens. Physical damage. Well, it's just it's just the uh, magnetic field. The magnetic field is the best oh. thing. Can you counter the magnetic field? Can you not? And Morphling can with the waveform. The one caveat you'd go is that Morphling, if you go for the shotgun build, Arc Warden is actually, I believe, the best agility carry when it comes to strength gain. I think it's a 3.1 per level, hmm. uh, which is better than Venge and Bloodseeker, which are the second two. And that he has a terrible agility gain, but he's really good strength gain, which allows him to actually tank a fair amount of uh, pure magical damage, which is really good against Morphling and OD. His matchup against OD is really strong. He is not too bothered by the Arena of Blood because the chance of him being caught in it is rare, to be honest, because uh, he usually stays away and usually caps the clone of anything. So it's pretty decent. It's a pretty decent pickup. The Morphling, though, I do question if you go for a stats build with Scotty and Manta, if that's not good enough to stop the Arc Warden. You don't really have a hero to burst on the Morph. You're kind of hoping to go for the new Arc Warden where you go for triple Wraith Bands or even four and Maelstrom and Dragonlance and try to win as soon as possible. And I think that's a good proposition by Chicken Fighters. Yeah, they, they certainly got the tower push to achieve that early on. I mean, I like the ABBA pick for that. Yep. If, there's one, if there's one advantage the ABBA brings is insane tower push potential early on. Uh, with I mean, you double that here with the, the Tempest double, and you're, you're looking pretty good. I, I'm not sure how the Ember Spirit's going to really fare this game. Uh, it's kind of my concern. Yeah. Uh, I think with the remnants, hopefully the yeah, ultis aren't too big of a problem. Is hopefully we're going to get this uh, overlay switched over here quite soon. Yes, of course they will. They are professional observers. Yes. yes. But yes, the the Ab Abaddon pick I think is actually really good. Actually, pretty good here. I'd rather have this in the Legion for now because they take advantage of it. You have mediocre to decent tower pushers, but definitely lacking the big tower pushing spells. The Abaddon is fantastic to help that with his with his passive. Yeah, do, do, do comment on that. Uh, the Abaddon is really good because of that, because it helps you to have this extra tower push. The... The um, Abaddon Dispel is really useful compared to uh, to deal, sorry, with the with the Morphling E-Blade, etc, etc. So it's, it's actually a pretty decent pick. What is this about? Is there you a little bit of a... a uh, uh, There's some, some drama between these two. It was suck my uh, censored and then finally happy to face you from Hester Joe Rotten and Saberlight. Who was uh, Saberlight? I understood. Yeah, yeah. Go, uh, might be because Hester Joe was his replacement in Singularity. Mm. <laughs> so... <laughs> Seems like this could be a... Uh, oh, there's a lot of all chat here this Mars game. Willow. I really hope they take out the overlay though. Yes, hopefully that will be happening soon. We did we did notify here our observing team as they're going to award just about here merit placements. Let me just go ahead and double check here once again. Okay, which a message has been received. I think we're going to get that updated here pretty shortly, guys. But uh, don't let it don't let it anger you too much, guys. Or let it anger you as much as you want. It doesn't matter. Just don't direct this anger at us. That's the most important yes, part. They are. We are not to blame. They're very uh, direct here in this one with the all chats. Well, there's nothing else. He said just said Mars Willow. That's it, right? Uh, he says nice item build, Jonas. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I know. He called him Jonas. He called him Jonas. He called him the first <laughs> name. And on a first name basis, these two. So that's a big deal. There's a bit of history between the boys. Is we finally will get the game started. I've met both of them. They're both nice people, so I'm surprised. My goodness. Look at I mean, they both have vision of each other here. Finally going to go for that. Might reveal the presence of Warden. Oh, now it's starting to kick off. Zidrax. 
It kind of does, but then again, the Fade Bolt as well pretty much means that they can't do any more right-click damage to them in this bot lane on the side of Singularity. Oh, the Morphling could have continued, but they had way too much damage. Like, Morphling is fully morphed to agility, to be perfectly honest, so... Oops. He's... Fair vulnerable to the stroke of fate right now. Has a good amount of armor to tank the last two attacks, but that's it. And there's a Grimstroke finally leaving. Now the stroke of fate is not in the lane anymore. You can actually do things with this. Yeah, we finally face each other, as Saber Light says. So there does seem to be. I don't know. I don't know if it's animosity. I don't know if they're, they're, they're kind of just playing it up. It's probably just the two. memeing, right? Yeah, that's what I would expect here, first and, and, and foremost. Uh, to be quite honest. But either way, I think it's going to be good. I, I think everyone's got a little bit of uh, something, Why are they something to show. Test it. Interesting. Uh, Zidrax could be in trouble here. Borrow time. One more. One more. Borrow time. There we go, Zidrax. We'll be going down here. Not borrow time, sorry. Uh, Curse of Avernus. I keep. Yeah, Curse of Avernus. Gets it off. Oh so wow, me, the Zuya almost died here as well. They want to get the curses on him as well. But it's yeah, impossible. He's, got he's got two healing pots, though. I mean, that's not ideal. You don't want to use both of them. It's interesting he, he went for two healing pots and not even a single tango to start. Yep. Yeah, I guess you just, uh, was it the Morphling you mean, right? Mm. No, no, that oh, was on Lich. Lich. I guess because one is for your carry, right? One is for your carry and one uh, is for yourself. Yeah. And you're just acknowledging that as Lich, you just want to mango it up. Uh, yep. Ah, good point. Yeah, yeah. So Ho hopefully get your, your, your tranquil boots up quite soon. Yeah, exactly. So Lich, you have a lot of kill potential early. So we, we <laughs> yeah, sorry about this overlay, guys. I'm just uh, making sure the message is received. Uh, DNZ considering there, go for the career type. It says Cesar Echo. As a Dark Willow now, we're seeing much more Bamboo Mains level 1 as opposed to the old, old build of Shadow Realm level 1. Now Shadow Realm is not so great, but DNZ is probably one of the best EU Dark Willows. Or if not the best EU Dark Willow. He loves this hero. He's one of the few guys that still plays it. It's a really nice combo, especially with the Mars, in case yeah. it needs to be stated again. Everyone talks always about the combo, like in the Arena Blood. It's obviously is fantastic, but it, the combo in lane is also strong. They have a very strong laning presence, both of them. So they do very similar roles. They're both aggressive. I think you should definitely never discount them. It's very similar to the Doom Grimstroke, where everyone's like, "Oh, oh my God, it's like double Doom. That's so great." But at the same time, the Grimstroke with Inkswell and the Scorched Earth is already really, really good. Yeah, plus it's, uh, I mean, just to just to, pu to put the T on it, right? You got the nice uh, uh, Cursed Crown with the, uh, into the... The Spear of Mars, yeah, exactly. Cursed Crown into Spear of Mars. Bramble Maze actually gets triggered by Spear as well, so you can actually use, for example, Bramble, hit him by one Bramble, wait till the Bramble expires, and then hit him with the Spear of Mars, send him into another Bramble, and then into a stun as well. So it's like this Wombo combo of damage and stuns. And with this... Uh, we'll see that the lane for Arc Warden is actually going really well for him. Supreme really happy with this. 16 last hits to his name. Uh, but we are seeing not such a successful time, right, for the the OD right now. Actually being kind of destroyed by the Arc Warden. Which is good. It's what we expect. It's a slightly favored matchup for Arc Warden. The Astral is impossible to use against an Arc Warden because of his great range. One of his best assets. That's what? Mate. Okay. And the uh, tips come out. I think they used the combo. Please at least show me the fight recap. Show me something. Take the hood off. <laughs> yeah, the hood is slightly annoying, but we're going to have to deal with it here for oh, now. Morphling. That's a big kill bottom, though. On to subtract. So, the kill up top, we saw the combo. I mean, I can just tell because of when we clicked on them. We saw that there was the the cool, the Mar Spirit of Mars on cooldown. Uh, the Spirit of Mars was used with the Bramble Blaze for the double damage, and I got a really good kill. It's a surprising kill. Which is good. I think that they dealt well with the lane problem that OD presented them. Still has playing fair aggressive, but honestly against the Morphling you're kind of limited. You do the 1, 2, 3 and then you hope that they, they leave. Yeah. Uh, and they've been keeping good pressure here in both lanes. Oh, what a fuck shield just to get it denied. Yeah. What a calculation. The bot lane so far. Saberlight is a meme and that's what he is. That's the truth about Saberlight. <laughs> no, seriously, every time yeah. I meet him he is an absolute meme. Acknowledging the truth. Yeah, I'd like to see how this mid lane is going on. 24 and 7 compared to the 18 and 6, so a nice little bit of a lead there. Overlay, please. And Excalibur continues, hoping to stop uh, Arc Warden here. Having a tough time. Mars, though, is having such an easy time that it's actually making up for this. Uh, the Morphling is also 
I, it's fine. actually here, it, it's, it's such an even thing, because Morphling, of course, is having a much worse lane because he's a much worse laner than Ember. Uh, so it's kind of even between both teams. Arc Warden is kind of supposed to make it up for the Dire team, and for the Radiant team are supposed to get the... kind of the Mars, I guess, to pick it up, to be the space creator. The thing about it is that right now, Chicken Fighters is a much faster team. Oh, Noya's in the chat. Oh, hey, Noya. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> it's not up to us, man. Yeah, sorry, sorry no, yeah. We, we've passed it on to our production here. We're just getting a feed over from the main observers. Yes. Uh, they've been doing a great job thus far, but unfortunately, sometimes mistakes happen. really Pesta Joy is his brother, so you know, it's cool that he's. Oh, is that true? Yeah, I think so. Ah, it's the other brother combo. You know, we're gonna see. Uh. We're gonna get to see the uh, Sumail brothers. I'm not a big fan of the Danish Bears guys. Like, I think those guys are just incredibly nice people, and I'm very happy that Noya is doing well for himself. So, always been a fan. When I met him in India, it was one of the best moments. Ah, the gold Kavix. Kavix uh, drinking uh, around. I don't remember what happened because I was... Uh, well, you know, there's going to be a... Uh, it looks like a kill underneath the tower here as Soneko in some trouble. DNZ just running him down. Again, got to watch out for that creep wave, though, but at least he's going to pull the wave for now. Well, let's see. Let's see uh, for now. Uh, the Abaddon's actually doing really well for himself, Saberlight's kind of making a name for himself, whereas actually beating the Mars, just because of not only the, his win in net worth, but also the domination that he's getting in this offlane position. Excalibur, okay, that's a bit of annoyance with the Flux, the second Flux coming soon, Excalibur, he's going to use a Sinus Eclipse, but that's not enough damage, Excalibur will go oh. down, DNZ even joins, but a bit too late, and Tarima may even get a double kill, DNZ says hello, Uber Eats for you, delivery! As he feeds Supreme, another extra kill. The Thank D you very and much. The double damage rune with the yeah, double T Tempest double. You actually could not tell. I think, no. I'm not going to lie, it's hard to tell with the double damage. I, I could not tell when he was doing it, but I was like, that's a lot of damage. Uh, the cosmetics kind of took that away. It's a bit unfair. It's not really their fault. Yeah, it's like when you uh, when you have the the white or the silver prismatic shard in the TB Arcana. It's like, which one is the which ones are the illusions? Yeah, exactly. Zuzuya here. Could also go down. Oh, there. nice stun. That's a very, very good stun. Oh, and with wow. a power time, it's easy. Saberlight wants to go for more, though. He doesn't have level 6, though. Saberlight wants to play aggressive, but he can't. He realizes if he goes any further, this could be a mistake. So I, I like that he played this intelligently. He was for the creeps. Once he gets his creep lane, it should be enough to get level 6, I believe. All right, so the overlay will be changing in a couple yes, seconds now. Yes, perfect. Managed to do it. Man, sorry about that again, guys. But hopefully yes. this will be updating soon. We're going to see all of those 10 beautiful hero portraits at the top, and as well as that timer. And as well as the team names. Ah, the team names would help, uh, but in case you were confused, Singularity here on the Radiant side and the and Chicken, chicken fighters. fighters. on Dire. Yeah. There, there we go. We go. Oh, a beauty. It's like yes. I, it's like a blind man able to see again. I'm so happy. Yes. Well, here we are then. Right back in the action. 2K net worth lead. 1 to 5 the kill spread this early 2K on. lead for Chicken Fighters. Just Ooh, they might lose the Ember, though. It looks like they're going for a dive there in the top lane, and they will be able to get it. Has to Joe Rodden. Probably with the Spear of Mars. DNZ will follow up as the gank from mid lane. It's like casting, just casting based off the map. Now the rotation is mid lane as they're going to try here onto Milan. They have already used the uh, Astral Imprisonment though, and the Wand Charges are going to be enough to keep them alive for now. The question is how much longer is they're looking for the Shadow Realm damage? They're not going to. Oh, they will have the damage, but oh, the Fairy nice. Fire! And look at this with not the Flux. The, the Infused Raindrop. Infused Raindrop, uh, infused raindrop yeah. as well, as I think they're going to have. No, not the quite have that kill. Oh, wow. Again, they will at least get a revenge kill as DNZ will find one playing extremely aggressively here. Again, dropping the flux. They will at least get the real one there. And oh, oh, D, don't get away! Instant. Don't go away! Oh no! You just killed Zuzuya. <laughs> oh, because he, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. I think Excalibur might be. There's a flux soon, but there's no clone oh. though. He's realizing now. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's got a lot of charges. He's a TP he's coming he's in. He has, the he's got nine turns of the ulti. It's not going to be quite enough though. I think. No, that's not. It's not. But uh, that was that was a questionable play by Excalibur. Honestly, I'm glad we got the overlay ready for that play, so yep. we could watch it in his full glory. Excalibur could have just stayed with him, and I think he would actually would have survived there because he had was enough range away. I had to play uh, interesting, in, intelligently. Sorry around those those spark wraiths. 
or butterflies, I think they are at this point. Yeah, yeah. You forget about the uh, you forget about the the flux, and I know you said uh, it was a non-factor, and, and I'm not using that point to well disagree with you. Well, I was gonna say it's a non-factor in proteins, but then this happens. Yeah, right? so, uh, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, it it slips it's your mind. It's right? easy to forget about when you're like, oh, we can go for this kill, we can turn it. As yeah. They're gonna go for Seneco now, top lane. They're going with the frost armor though. Can they actually get them? Sick charges, not gonna be enough. It's nice. Okay, so Mako is the first to die, but they want to go for Charlie. That's much more important. Yeah. There's an Arcanron on Excalibur. He's going to be looking to drop the hammer here. I mean, ideally, right? But yeah. you don't have much mod anyway. He's, he's not going to force it, right? Yeah. He'd rather have it for, for the, the correct usage. But if you can, you know, find the correct usage now, he's going to probably figure it's good enough. Yeah, let's see. Uh, it's uh, almost uh, The lead has actually gone much more in favor of Singularity now as the game has progressed to those... The Arc Warden is still the space creator and the dominator, of course, but we have seen the uh, Abaddon and the Ember both fall off uh, for chicken fighters. They kind of depend a lot on the Arc Warden. You're playing a format that won in the beginning, whether you like it or not. Which is uh, great. It looks like he's going to be going not four, but three Wraith Bands into the Maelstrom builds. That's, I think that's, that's a usual build, by the yeah. way. I just said yeah. four because sometimes some oh, Arc no, Warden's no, no, yeah, yeah. I, I was just, you were right on the money with that build. That's that's pretty standard for now. You don't really see the yes. boots of travel Midas anymore. That's uh, no, Midas well, that's is dead. too slow. Too it's slow. Treads, Wraith Band. Because Treads are buffed as well. So Treads, Wraith Band, Maelstrom. I like this build. Very fast, very yeah. appropriate to this yeah, game. Treads got a buff, I think, as well as because uh, an indirect buff, because Bracers got nerfed. That's also true. That's yeah. another indirect buff. That's yeah. true. Making Treads much more valuable. Treads give you a fair amount of stats. It's back yeah. to 10 stats again. Oh, yeah. And they make loads of haste cheaper, so Treads is, is overall is cheaper. Actually, a very valuable item. It's better than face boots generally. It's just that the active for face boots is very useful. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Perfectly nice. timing that one. Yeah. Charlie? Is he dead? Charlie's maybe oh, not. Oh, here it comes. Get ready. That's He's definitely okay. not going to be enough damage. <laughs> are you. Are you, you got to bring the hype to every single moment. There you go. <laughs> okay. Fake hype cast. Nah, nah, nah. The Drax Coy for Saberlight in the bottom lane, but Saberlight this time has power time, so it's a possibility to kill him. Oh. They use the Ghost as well, Saberlight just chasing after him. Zidrax has no damage right now, TPs. and he actually might get killed. The lack of armor is making him super vulnerable, but Zidrax just barely survives, and they murder HP. Saberlight. Heste Joy, done. super happy about this Milan. The next target, apparently, Milan not going to get away from this alive either. They use the Flux, absolutely nothing on Excalibur as they control the clone first. Nice Astro Imprisonment, Supreme has to die. They have to the kill Ember. the clone, but the Ember joins in. That's enough damage to turn this around. Terra is giving them a bit of space. Waveform forwards and Rexwell will fight this, but Zidrax is almost out of mana. He can't fight this any further. He has no way to heal. Nice they get him with the ghost, and wow. that's Zidrax done too. Chicken fighters with the Ember reinforcements managed to make this team fight theirs. What a turnaround. That Singularity was so overextended good. a bit, to be honest. Look at the damage already from the Maelstrom. I think he had Maelstrom up already, right? You can just see those Maelstrom proxy right next to each other. Oh boy, you are just lining up for a spanking right there. <laughs> That uh, was honestly. Uh, you actually went. You they kind of bunched up as well together. So it was it was pretty easy for Chicken Fighters to turn that around. I think Chicken Fighters is playing appropriately because your you know the enemy team is going to be slower. You saw the impact of the morphling there was not too great. Ooh, his day playing yeah, a bit too too aggressive. Slide of fist will it hit? <laughs> it will. There we go. Good 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 usage there of the bulwark, but not. Yeah, it's only be so much you can enough. do. Oh look, they earn a vessel here on the Ember Smith. This is something we we saw previously. Yeah, yeah, we saw at the one esports. Yeah, yeah. It's because vessel is so good against Morphling, and you're the Ooh! first one to build it. What a stun! What a stun on the Rubik! Oh my, my god. god! Oh lord! <laughs> what a play, Milan! Oh my I, God. I got choked up after, after that one. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That I, was, I he's actually crying up. on the stream right now, which is pathetic, uh, to be honest. That was incredible. That was one of the most beautiful Ruby plays I've ever seen. That was very nice to look at Nisus. Oh, very, yeah. very nice. Yep, on point. By the way, in case you guys don't get why I was so beautiful, those of you who didn't see the play properly, he telekinesed an ancient creep because he couldn't actually telekinese the Dark Willow because she was untargetable, of course. So by getting the landing stun and the telekinesis. And this is why you keep telekinesis level one. Yep. This is why you keep it level one. 0 0.8 seconds up in the air is all you need. And honestly, I mean, that was such a big oversight from the Willow just trying to TP right in front of the Rubik. I actually did not expect I don't think I expected that. I, I, nobody, I didn't expect it nobody either. Nobody expected that. And Arrowwood Tree for Supreme. More stats. Arrowwood Tree is actually one of the few heroes that can use it well. It's Supreme on the Arc Warden. Oh. Okay, Saberlight in trouble. He has borrowed time in a second. Gets it off. Yeah, he's surrounded That's going to be Arena Blood Wasted. Can they turn? No, I don't think so. I don't think Saberlight is dead, but uh, Charlie, why are you in? There's nobody else coming in with him. Okay, Grimstroke oh. finally comes in. Nice stroke of fate hitting three. TP. They're trying to fight this. Maybe. Milan's going this in, but he decides to cancel it in time. 
So Neko puts a defensive ink swell. They get him with the Ramble they Maze. They have a Spear of Mars as well, but it doesn't actually trigger. So Neko can get away. Tries to stop DNZ, but DNZ deals a fair amount of damage. Here's Supreme. Trying to turn this around. They might have overextended terrifying. a bit more. Reaper they might have overextended. The clone alone from Supreme is actually keeping them at bay. And we see that DNZ has gone in a bit too far. It might get punished for this. Ink Swell's ready to hit. And with Ink Swell, that's a guaranteed kill. What a, what a strange bit of aggression there. Yep, they realized a bit too late that they overextended. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least they only lose the Willow, so that wasn't the biggest oversight out from Team Singularity. Could have been way worse, I think. Uh, but still, so Zatrax, you know, he's continuing to farm. He does not die in that fight. Looks like he's going to be going straight for that Manta style. What do we have here on our OD? Of course, going to go four staff after three Null Talismans and then into that Aghanim Scepter. So pretty standard builds here yep. from both the mid laners, but of course, a bit of an advantage for the Arc Warden. Axe is super useful here. Axe is so great because not only is it great because of course it goes with your build and it's generally good, but also double astral against an Abaddon, for example, an Arc Warden is fantastic. You can uh, actually deal with the whole someone. Arc Warden. Yeah. Yes, they did. They found the Grimstroke, but maybe Grimstroke found them. Hard to tell. I don't for know. sure, so they go. Oh, he will actually survive and they'll kill the Lich in the process. And Soneko for now is okay. Oh, yeah. I think he's actually just no, going to be able to... Oh, Soneko. come on, bro. That is... Okay, he's okay. Wow. The greed on putting that ward there. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if you, you can get a ward down in moments like those. It's very unlikely to be de-warded, right? That is true. They never they, expect it. They never expect it. That's why if you're dying and you're a support, sometimes just throw down a ward. I don't always click on your inventory, especially in a fight. You never know. Might make a difference. Depends. It depends no, I mean, on don't how obvious it is. I mean, right? don't like if you know if your has to draw around here. Don't put it down here because this is going to be a useless ward spot, right? Also, because it's obviously if you turn around, right? So that's has to be uh, it's oh. inconspicuous ward. That bar time can a bit late. Uh, can he actually TP? No, it's impossible. Milan's going to be able to escape at the very least, but here comes the bramble maze setting up just for saber light here, as they will lock him down to the spear of Mars. So I don't think saber light's playing badly, but how much impact does he have in this game? I don't think much. Honestly, I don't think I, I just never find the abandon going like, wow, yes, abandon. Yeah, I mean, it, does the does any Abaddon really make you say that, though, nowadays? Yes, but no, nowadays, no, but before. Well, yeah. actually, when Hector plays Carry Abaddon, I go, Hector, Carry why? Abaddon? What does he build? Uh, Manta style. Huh. Because Manta, you triggers each of the uh, each of the illusions actually yeah, hits. Yeah, they, they give you the, the, the charges. The charges, the exactly. Burns. So it's actually really easy to get the triple charge. It's, it's essentially Echo Saber, but better. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. If you go Echo Saber, you get that instantly, too. Well, that, I mean, that's a, that yes. seems excessive. I'm just like... Manta's good. He goes Manta Radiance I'm just doing usually. stupid builds now. But yeah, hey, that's, that's why. There's a pipe of insight now on the uh, Hasidro Rotten Abba. He has not gone for uh, Carry Abaddon in a while. But wait till the Major. That's what he hmm. really brings out. The Carry Doom, the Carry Abaddon. I don't know, man. I, I, I saw Armel try and do mid Doom the other time. Not crazy. Nah, it was pretty bad. I mean, he won with Carry Doom, so... I mean, he, I mean, he was trying to like go for level death there, and I was like, what's going on here? You remember that ability, level yes, death? Yes, I oh, love that ability. What a strange time. Wow. You used to only take one level, no, two levels of it, because level five was the most consistent level. Yeah. How yeah. much you could get it. Yeah. And so then you, you would level stats for the rest. Well, not necessarily. No, no, no. You would get to two levels early, and then you would max your other abilities immediately. Oh, well, there we go. On the saber light they go. I, don't know, I know nothing. Oh. oh, they're turning out with the soul by not to do. Do they have more follow-up? The double flux, though, and they're going to be able to push Excalibur away. Can he get off yep. the astral? He cannot. Dead for 45. The Terrify is going to be on to two as they begin to chase now. Oh, stole oh it. it's stolen, though. And it's going to be turned. Steal. As look at Hester Joe Rotten. Caught in the middle. Can go nowhere. Silenced up. He will now go down. Maelstrom Prox bouncing in and round. Speaking of bouncing, out comes the Chain Frost as well. And it's going to get at least maybe one or two here. Saber light looking pretty low, but it looks like there's enough heroes here to just tear the damage four heroes dead for singularity as chicken fighters that's the one they're looking for yeah they're gonna take a tower here in the bottom lane as well no problem with saber light i mean they are playing this well right now oh, oh can he even oh. catch the more flick nah, no i think, that's, I think that's a dead oh stick charges yeah, stick charges. charges he also had the smoke if he needed that by the way so that is still terrorize he has right that is still terrorize okay it's hard to tell with, with the yes, ability with the cooldown. yeah yeah Hmm. What a steal. What a steal by the Rubik. Really well played. That turned around the team fight completely. You put the Mars to show him your back, right? So that was it, easy. It was good communicate. Fairly good timing on that pipe as well. I think maybe yes. they, they would have, you know, maybe one or two heroes would have died there with because of the Chain Frost. But good communication. Has to Joe Rotten goes, no, 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 don't worry. Actually, it's Saberlight, isn't it? No, it's Hester Joe. Hester goes, no, 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 guys, don't worry. I got pipe. It's fine. Just stick together. There's, there's what are you talking about? Here. Hester Joe is Mars. Okay. Saberlight is well, well, Saberlight. Saberlight. Uh, I, got, I got pipe. I got pipe. It's all good to go. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a fair amount of damage, but I don't know what Hester is I mean, doing. He was, he was in this as well. Charlie's just going to be running yeah. him down. And they have Ink Swell. Do they have any of the stuns? They got a silence, silence off. That's a fair amount of damage. Hester can still use Bulwark soon. Bulwark soon. Someone helping him. Bedlam, everything. Arena Blood. They get the combo off. The oh, turret's not available. And they actually turn around. 
Charlie, you fell for the bait. We fell for the bait. Heste will survive oh, on the bulwark alone. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. That urn will not be enough to kill him. Now they go for Saberlight next. He's the next target. Can they do it in time? Nice. Bramble Maze will catch him. They still have the Astral Imprisonment, but they can't use it. The NZ's playing more aggressive than his team. That was such a good stroke of fate, actually. That just completely slowed everyone down. They could not continue that chase. Very, very right good uh, play by the, uh, keeping the bulwark up because the urn, of course, was from the Ember. So if he was still there, then the bulwark would actually reduce the damage of yep. the... It's a lot like Bristleback, in case you don't know. It's yes. the way it's like, oh... That's where the caster is when it's DPS. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Or, so any, or any debuffs, for that matter. Yeah, well, yeah, any damage DPS. Well, DPS, of course, uh, that's any debuff, right? Any debuff with damage is DPS. Actually, no, you can have uh, Astral Step. Astral Step is the exception. Oh, yeah, good point. Good point. Uh, but anyway, yeah, any... No, any I mean for the most part. Yeah, yes. for the most part. So the point is that any, any, yeah, any DPS that happens, uh, even if the attacker is dead or whatever, it's his last position. If the attacker is not dead, then it's his current position, regardless of where the spell hit you. Mm. So if you turn your back at, uh, at Veno, for example, and when you're Bristle Black, and it poison Novas, and then you turn your... You, you face him again, and he'll deal full damage. Yep. Regardless of what you think hit you, or what, what, what logic dictates, or whatever. In case you don't know, uh, you stay where you are until uh, you respawn. So you stay until your last position yes. was, which is why... Your corpse is there, right? So it makes oh, sense. Oh, there's the Terrorize. The Stolen Terrorize, though. Out of the tracks, they're going to be able to nuke him down instantly. The Fade Bolt's coming out supreme as well with that nuke damage. I think he avoided the Terrorize, too, with a more. But then he didn't leave in time, because he didn't have wave form. Oh, uh, maybe the Spirit Vessel. Oh, the Spirit Vessel screwed him over. Yeah. Of course, but also also the uh, the damage. I mean, the, they hit him with the goal, they hit him with everything. It was a very tough. It was a very tough play. By the way. This is going to be a, a Roche very easily. You do have the Arena of Blood and the Buyback and the Ulti. You don't have the Terrorize, though. That's what the Abaddon is used for as well. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be chasing away now the Willow. Make sure there's no oversights here. I so swear to God. One more time, mate. One more time. Oh, my no. favorite Daft Punk song here is not Milan going to be in a bit of trouble. He's got the dark, uh, the Shadow Realm. Yeah, Spear of Blood, right? Yes. Or Spear of Mars, sorry. Spear of Blood, Arena of Blood. It's all the same. Yeah, Spear of Mars. I hear into there's the a Arena fight near the mid tier two though. Now looking for a re-engage. Lich, oh, wow. Lich alone. Wow, very aggressive from him. Yeah, I think he was trying to keep the enemy team at base so they couldn't go any further. The singularity is starting to get the point of inspiration where you're going. We need space. We need time yeah, yeah. for our heroes to come online, and it's not happening. Uh, and so you're trying to just send corpses, like chuck, chuck bodies to the enemy team, hoping that that will help. And this is one of the times when a battle is super useful. You're making the game fast for you. So it's uh, like I said, it's, it's actually really well utilized this pick. Astro. Oh. Milan. What is that? Is that, that is uh, God's Rebuke, I believe, right? That is stolen. Uh, I think so. That's our magnetic field here. Just makes it so hard for them to, to get in there and get any damage done. Yeah, Magnetic Field is, is fantastic at pushing towers as well. And it's uh, kind of this uh, thing where, like, Abaddon and, and Arc Warden together, they don't have a lot of pushing power. They're not a Klinks or a Lone Druid, but together, it's enough. It's just enough to actually become important. Some Ash Made in Heaven here. And let's look at, look at this. Oh, wow. Very aggressive. He's going to find Saberlight out in the trees. He didn't even go in. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, that's doing? not Saberlight. Yeah, that's not Saberlight, buddy. I that saw is Excalibur. Man. Excalibur tries to TP. The Ghost will not be killed yet. Can they get the Telekinesis off? They cannot. They just tried to push wherever, so they're just shoving the lanes right now. But well played by Mars, shoving the lanes as well. Indeed. Well, they're going to be buying time off of this Aegis at the very least. Smoke for Singularity. Oh, there's the eggs, though. There's the eggs. The eggs. Yeah, that could be that. That could be a bit of a turning point. The thing is, Morphling is still not ready, so this is a four-man smoke, right? Which is okay, but it depends on how Chicken Fires propose this. We'll see now how they group. Because right. if they if they're thinking these things can happen and they okay. just group us five, they're gonna group and smoke. This is classic EU. They're smoke. They're smoke. Let's smoke and let's dance around them. And here we go. That the, is actually classic. The EU. elegant EU dance here is instead they're gonna go on this attracts farming all alone here in the mid lane. He doesn't have a team nearby. This could be. Maybe a nail, one nail in the coffin. Not all of oh, them. He's going to be in trouble. Do they have the silence? The match style will come out. And they will not catch him there with the inks. Well, they do have the spirit vessel applied. But here's the rest of the radiant squad now ready to support his teammate. But a scary moment indeed. I don't think they played that very effectively. Honestly. No, no, they didn't. They could have ghosted him first. As I, first I think they needed to wait a little bit there. They yeah, just, they just maybe another two seconds. That's one of the, the moments when 
when the, the supports, he, he's on the way, he's on the way, but, you know. When the supports are slow and you have a very mobile hero. Yeah. And you're just running at him, it's just not. Yeah. You, you got to chill. You got to chill for some time, you know. You could have also used Searing Chains. I think they missed that. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Or I don't know if they got dispelled. Might have man dodged it. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, well, here we this go again. This is counter smoke. This is more of an SCA smoke. Um, or uh, CIS smoke, actually. They just smoked. They have no smoke. Let's go. <laughs> Divide, boys. Uh, singularity, of course, having no, no, well, DNC is Croatian, so yeah, it's, they it's go, the closest uh, they we go. Everyone, it. go stick, smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Excalibur has the Force Staff and the Astral. It's a good way to initiate onto Charlie, because they can combine that with Terrorize, but the Terrorize is not available right now. Charlie, oh good, god, good all map the way sense. Around the map. Very good map sense. Yeah, he knew. He knew something was up, and that should be the Tier 2 top lane now demolished in favor of Chicken Fighters. 5k net worth lead. The only problem I see right now is Supreme is pretty scary, and then the OD is even scarier than the rest of this Chicken Fighter squad. But together, that's where the true strength lies, I think, of this Chicken Fighter squad. I mean, that's actually, though. One soul chicken. What's going to work? He's so weak. Teamwork. But when you put all these chickens with a rooster, they become a cacophony of power. Indeed they are, as here they go. Oh my god, look at the damage! Done. Who cares about your bulwark, oh son? Oh jeez, the flux damage there, actually. The double flux. That's true, double flux. No one wanted to be near him, and even if the damage is halved, it still didn't matter. Kareem just said I mean, you also have the, the fact that they were, they everyone was beating on to him. That, uh, that aggressive ward. I love aggressive wards like this! The tracks! Gone. See ya! He was not expected. Look, and he says him from oh. behind. Excalibur starts to fight this. But I don't think it's the play. Spear March catches DNZ. DNZ is about to die. The Astral will save him for a couple more seconds, but he's going to come back with the Out Shadow Realm, which means he's just can fodder for the Arc Warden. They go for Excalibur next. Si Saberlight can play this aggressively. One last Astral to annoy him. And actually, Saberlight could be in trouble. He has a Phonic Shield ready. Gets it in time. Nice magnetic field. He's still alive. I think... I no, think I think he dies with the Astro. No! Oh, Killed wow. up by the Frost Blast. Okay, so, uh, there is a very nice Spear of Mars. Don't send him back. Milan, what a steal. Excalibur was not expecting this. The Ghost will just end up killing him. Side of Fist actually helps out a bit as well. Yeah, they get, they get the position there. The Trax now trying to man fight, though. But in comes DNC. Oh, he did not want to be there. Absolutely melts. That's going to be a dieback. They do actually have a buyback on the OD. Supreme. Uh, I think Supreme can just take this easily. Yeah. Even the buyback on the OD, who cares, honestly? What are you going to do? Excalibur, He's look at this. He walks in, telekinesis. He's actually going to get killed. Excalibur, what's the oh. plan? He gets the arena blood off, but a bit too late. His Joy even gets sinister gaze. In comes the Ember, walks into the arena. Who cares about your damage, Hestet? You're actually useless right now. They're going to get the Inkswell off to ensure this kill on Hestet is secured. He's got buyback. Prepare for a lesson, he says. Ooh, the cockiness of Charlie. I love it. Milan is sitting in the trees. GG. Oh, yeah, there we go. Game one in the books. Yeah, I, I, I'll say that even though Singularity towards the end, they seem to lose the plot a bit and they did not play that too well. In the beginning, they played well. It's just the fact of a draft. They had a draft that was such a big uh, issue. You, you, you're constantly desperate to try to get the farm for the Morphling. It's so hard to play because your, your peaks come much later than the enemy, enemy game peaks. And the problem here happens that if you're the first to propose in Dota and you play well, you always win. This is how it works. Like, mm -hmm. the first to propose in Dota, if your draft is faster in Dota, as long as you make no mistakes, you will win. The thing is, of course, there's much less room for mistakes, etc., etc. But this is what TA4 meta was like, really. If you're the first to propose your strategy, then you win. It's easy. And that's what happened here. Nothing much to say. Singularity shouldn't feel bad about this game. It's a draft thing. Let's hope that uh, they can fix it up for second game. Yeah, it was a good draft, but uh, that's only a 1-0. But in our best of three here in the EGB Arena of Blood, at D Swordfish and at Sea Construct Dota here on the call. And we'll see you guys very soon for game number two. We'll see you then. EGB, your eSports betting world. The only place to find the widest choice of popular games and matches to win real money. Choose your bet on a single event or express of several matches with dizzy odds. Serving the market for seven years with over 800,000 users. Join now to get your bonus for the first deposit up to $600. EGB, you know for sure who's gonna win.
Which way do we go? Is the question to ask. There are so many choices that it's hard not to look past. But it's